hello, good morning, and welcome to today's upload. My name's Emma Stick Around for hauls and vlogs and chats. Um, just took the dog on a walk. The weather. Come on, weather. Whoever's in charge of the weather is it Mother Nature? I don't know. Whoever is in charge of the weather, sort it out. We want a bit of sun. We want a little, just a little tiny bit of sun, please. I don't know if any of you remember the um, Easter of 2020. I think we all do. Um, it was glorious weather, so we just need a little bit of sun. Let me know what the weather is like where you are. If you saw on the community tab, I said, right, I'm going to do a little Easter shop with me, have a little mooch around the shop, look at the spring cleaning stuff, see what's in store. And I was like, where do you want me to go? And I said, B&M, Home Bargains or Poundland. And you were like, all of them. We want all of them. So I'm going to try my very best to get to all of them. I am going to Marks and Spencers today because on my Instagram, I've been doing a best biscuit poll. I don't think I've ever had as many direct messages in my life as about biscuits. And I don't know if it's British people just take their biscuits very seriously. Thousands and thousands and thousands. And I had some recommendations of biscuits I've never tried. So I'm popping to Marks and Spencers to try that. That'll be up on Instagram or you will have seen it on Instagram. And um, it's by Poundland. And I was like, two East chicks, one stone. Oh no, I don't like that. No. Two birds, one stone. That... No. It's close to each other. I can do both of them today. So that is the plan. I'm going to go to Poundland and then hopefully a bit later in the week I'll get to B&M and Home Bargains and you'll see all the beautiful Easter stuff in this jam pack. Come shop with me. Right, let's go. I have remembered a tote bag which makes me feel like a legend. <laughs> We're going to that pan land over there. This shopping centre is in Selly Oak. It's really fun. There's a Sainsbury's, the works, uh, Costa. There's two Costas, weirdly, and a Marks and Spencer. So let's go and have a little mooch around pan land. I'm having to do voiceovers for the shops because they had very loud music in. There's lots of new, there's a floor, lots of lovely new fresh scents for the spring, which are gorgeous. I headed over to the East Decorations. I loved these ones that you put on your door. They're so, so pretty. I thought the flowers also could last all throughout spring and summer. They had some gorgeous little good homies in. Lots of fake plastic flowers. I know my daughter would absolutely adore these. Also loads of like very nice ceramic bunnies. I thought these are really cute. They're all holding different things like flowers or eggs so that they look really nice on a table. As did these little, what would you call them? Oh, there's a special word. I'm going to say decorated egg. <laughs> I loved all the pastels as well. They do have a great range of stuff in store at the moment. If you are having to make an Easter bonnet this week, I hastily shoving stuff on a hat and hope it sticks while she kid walks around the playground. I've been there. I've made many an Easter hat. I loved these baskets. I thought these were a really good investment. They are four pound. As we know, stuff in Poundland is not a pound anymore, but I thought they'd last for years. As would this, where you can put your own things in the eggs, which would be great for kids that don't eat chocolate. Lots of cute little gnomes that would make nice presents or really fun display items. I thought that was my absolute favourite. Then I had a mooch around other parts in the shop. I thought this would be a great hen for your kitchen all year round. Why only keep it at Easter? You could keep it forever. Lots of really nice sweeties in. They had some sherbet straws. Unsu I'm not a fan of a sherbet straw. It's just sugar in it. It's just sugar. And I love these little jelly beans. Thought they were really cute, a jelly bean carrot. Something a little bit different for only a pound. Of course, they had lots of eggs in. I would say check with your local supermarkets to see if they had any offers on. I'm not entirely sure the eggs in Poundland are the cheapest anymore, but those mini eggs, the mint ones, yum. Some really cute oven gloves and tea towels in at the moment in store, which I thought were very, very pretty for this season. Also, lots of cute clothes. Look at the little bunnies. Don't sleep on Pep & Co clothes. They are brilliant. Finally, I went over to the mugs. I did show these on my Insta stories a few weeks ago. I thought this was absolutely adorable. It'd make a perfect gift for a tween. And these are very, very similar to Anthropology. I bought my friend Jocelyn one very similar 
for her birthday a couple of years ago. I thought that was very pretty as well. There was a green one and also kind of like an ombre one. And for your Disney fans, they did have Mickey and Minnie mugs as well. Well done, Poundland. You smashed it. Poundland had some absolutely gorgeous bits in, but it's not a pound anymore is it it's not a pound anymore but i suppose the quality has gone up i really loved the um cups and also some of the bunnies and stuff were cute but yeah i'd say the cheapest stuff was probably one pound fifty and some of the eggs were just the same price really as you'd get in sainsbury's or supermarkets so you know if you want to go to pop a pound and have a look i did really like the i will say the clothes are good chef's kiss if i had like tiny children the clothes are absolutely stunning and we're actually not here for easter we are going to be in california going to disneyland we're going to do loads of vlogs go and check out my video where i talk about our exciting travel plans so i didn't really need to get any decorations this year so i didn't pick up anything but i'm going to go to home bargains and b and because we definitely need some nice fresh <laughs> fresh Clean, cleanly cleanly smells you know what i mean like linen smells and stuff like that i don't tend to use the flora um but they had some great stuff in poundland but i will get some stuff from b&m or home bargains so um also i did pop to marks and spencers and i got the biscuits and also one thing i'm very interested to try do you know choc milk chocolate rounds which are 100 percent the best biscuit a giant one so i'm gonna have a little taste test of that and uh, show the people what it, what it tastes like because it is by far one of the best biscuits. Actually, stop this video. Let me know in the comments the best biscuit in your life, hands down. If you're from another country, tell me a biscuit that I will never have heard of. Um, and then we will go to Home Bargains. Hello, loves. We are off to Home Bargains today. I have got to get some stuff for our holiday. Stephen wants a travel, travel, travel pillow. Don't know if they have them there. Um, I need some toothpaste, so I need some bits and bobs. I'm going to show you all the Easter stuff as well. Um, you might have seen on my Instagram that I tried all the Marks and Spencer's biscuits, including this giant one. So go and check that out, see what I thought of that. Uh, it's also on my TikTok. Spoiler, doesn't have a biscuit in the middle, how disappointing. So we're going to go to Home Bargains. It's a bit drizzly today, and also I've gone back for a centre parting, because I just think centre partings look better with headbands. That's, that's my thoughts and my thinking. So, I've got my tote again. Do you think I can go to three shops out of three with the tote? But high five if I can. So let's head to Home Bargains. Let's start off with a good mooch around the East decorations. I love these door wreaths. I thought this would be really cute for the centerpiece with a little bunny in. Also, I thought these were absolutely adorable and something you could keep year after year. I wasn't sure of this. A, chi a side chicken wellies with bunny ears. I didn't understand it. There was too much going on. No home bargains. No, not for me. However, that little bunny was kind of cute. The candles are here. Now, I had a good old sniff of the candles. I turned the camera off and I have a, had a good old smell. There was a hot cross bun one and a carrot cake one. So, my results were the hot cross bun one smelt the best, followed by the carrot, followed by the white chocolate. You're welcome. These are amazing they reminded me of like those big american homes having that on your front door how fun so fun they've got some brilliant easter crafts in which would be fab over the easter holidays if it is a little bit rainy you can always do some crafts this mirror was unusual a bunny mirror but you know you could keep it in your bedroom forever i suppose they got some decorations for outside which i would definitely be doing if we were still here because i love a little decoration outside it makes me so happy look at that how cute is that i also went and had a little look at the mugs and all the crockery there was some really pretty stuff in i thought this would make a really really fun present they generally always have those pots in so you can get them at any year as well as these little um reusable straw cup things but this would make a really really nice centerpiece and loved this bunny for a toddler i did pick up a couple of these plastic little bowls which you will see in the hall in a little bit 
thought they were very pretty as I thought this plate was very pretty as well thought this was gorgeous a little cotton tail with little tulips then I went and checked out some of the nice scents that they have at the moment um all sorts of lovely fresh smelling ones I always end up going back to linen or spring awakening if you watched my wardrobe video they have got some velvet hangers in home bargains at the moment if you were looking for some highly recommend those they also had a lot of Disney stuff, like a whole Disney pets range with coats and collars and leads and little houses. I thought that was absolutely amazing. Also, you'll see in the hall, 79p Yankee Candle Wax Melts. I grabbed some for me and I also grabbed some for my friend. What an absolute treat in the homeware. They also had some extra bunny stuff, which I'd say is a little bit more sophisticated as some of the kiddie stuff. Um, and also some nice um, dried flowers. And I love this little wicker bunny. Hello, well that was very successful. Also hello to the lovely follow who was in there. We had a nice little chat. So got some bits and bobs. I will say home bargains are smashing it. Every year, in England, because in England we don't, we, for years, we didn't really traditionally kind of celebrate these things as big. So every year these shops getting more and more stocking, so there's some absolutely gorgeous stuff in. But obviously we're not here, so I just picked up a few bits and bobs. So Stephen wanted a memory foam travel pillow. I got him one, he wants it. I will let you know how he gets on with the flight. It's still very squidgy, I won't squidge it too much in case it like molds to my fingers. That was 4 99 which was cheaper than the ones I was looking on in Amazon. So that's good. I got that for him. I'm a nana and my eyes water quite a lot. I think it's the perimenopause age of life. So I picked up some nice tissues. Also, these will be great for when we go on holiday to put in our bags on the plane, to put in our bags um, as we go around the California. Myself a little tissue to wipe my little eye. Obviously, I had to get a spring scent. Spring awakening. Oh. I think this is what my mom has. This feels like it smells like my mom's house. Mom, if you're watching, do you have spring awakening? Because that smells like my mom's house when she's done loads of washing and it's all like drying. She's got like a really nice laundry room. Oh, lovely. Uh, the only real Easter things I grabbed was I have been doing. Um, some different types of brand work uh, with different brands and I just wanted a couple of cute bowls that I could have put like little treats in for the photos and obviously then I can use them well next Easter well and these are plastic I think these are so they're so sweet especially for like um just like breakfast bowls or anything they were really 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 cute my favorite shampoo we ran out this morning we just get through so much shampoo. I wonder how much the kids use. I imagine they just go like this. <laughs> and even though I say, just need a 50 piece, you know, they're like. <laughs> this is a strange thing. There is a whole big range in home bargains by a lady called Sarah Ashford. Please let me know who she is. Unsure, maybe she's like a crafty person. Loads, loads of crafting. And I saw these and I thought, this is perfect. So it's a little, it's in a four pack and it was only a couple of pounds. I have a lot of different, um, so my HRT I have gel and I have tablets and then I'm also taking magnesium glycate to help me sleep as well and this is just perfect to fit everything in when I go travelling. It's just like literally the perfect size. I can put all my different tablets in and um, have it in my hand luggage and then it's just there isn't it and I can just whip it out if, if the uh, security need to see it. They, to be honest, they've not queried my HRT as yet, which I thought they would do because it's like liquid, but uh, that was good. I was like, oh, good find. Talking of holidays, I've got some stuff for the plane for the children and me. Lollies, we always have to have lollies as we are ascending and descending for ear popping purposes. And if there isn't a lolly, all hell breaks loose. So I've got these, that'll be for the four of us. This will probably just, I imagine this will only get us there. And then we'll probably have to buy another bag while we're there to get back. Also, I bought things that I know um, the children always gravitate to in the airport. And this was three for 99p and I was like, yes, please. Orange Mentos, Fanta, they're delicious. 
that'll be fab to put in their bags i got a couple of packs of just hand wipes which will go in Stephen and I's bags just in case there's any um I mean they're big kids now and we're big kids people spill drinks people get a bit of chocolate down their clothes so it's always good to have just some wipes to hand these are biodegradable ones snack wise my children do not like the food on plane they don't like it at all it makes them it make it makes them have the ick Stephen and i love it i love it i love a warm bit of mash and some i like i'm not being sarcastic i love it i love it i love the food on the plane children hate the food on the plane so they don't have the food on the plane so we buy food at the airport like sandwiches and stuff but um i'm also going to get them some little snacks to tie them over fruit winders uh fun to eat don't like that squares i'm going to put um a couple I'll put four in and then I'm going to put four in the case and then if we're hungry when we get there we can just have some of these as we're waiting for a taxi or whatever. Um, the one thing you have to do when you're parent is continuously just make sure everybody's fed. Feed them, it makes them happy. Picked up some hand washes. I got this one for the kids' bathroom, cherry on top. That sounds delicious. And then for the downstairs bathroom, a dove. A little bit of dove. And then I got myself some Sensodyne toothpaste because I had run out. And um, I love a wax melt. I love a wax melt. My favourites at the moment are the Yankee Candle ones. They give good scent. Oh, this one's popped open. Never mind, I'll have that one. They give good, good, they give good scent. So I picked up, um, these are 79p each. They're usually... 249 or something and ever so often they do have them but you have to like they only have a few so you grab them and you see them so i got two of each of these because i'm just on my way to see my friend jocelyn and i always like to take her like a little treat so and sh and for christmas i bought a yankee candle wax melt and a wax melt holder so i thought i'd get some new scents farm fresh peach lovely very summery smell beach escape lovely and what was the other one i got there was one other oh coconut splash i'd say these are like summery smells 79p absolute bargain um got me three and jocelyn three so i will give those to her when i get to her house in a bit and this is what i was just talking to the follower the, to the follower about in the shop I've always done bags for my kids when we go travelling, um, notepads, pens, stickers, whatever. Obviously they're 11 and 13 now and what do I do? Do I still do this? I'm going to ask them, I am happy to do this till they're 50. I'm happy to pack a little bag of snacks. I'm happy to put a little treat in a bag. I love it. It makes me very, very happy. In fact, I yesterday I saw a video of a mom who'd sent her daughter at university a care package and does every month, and I thought, good, that's what I want to do. So, I'm going with, we're going to do it, and I will ask them what they think. So, we are going to Super Mario Land. I thought this would be really fun to hang off my boy's bag. Um, I just thought that was really cute for the day we go there. And I thought, that, to be honest, wanted these myself so i'll be quite intrigued what they're like these are sharpie highlighters and markers and i don't quite understand and they were only two pound what does that even mean but i thought my girl would quite like these uh to draw with and stuff on the plane but i am going to ask them but i imagine they'll be like of course we still want stuff of course we still want stuff are you crazy so there we go we've done two out of the three we've done the pound land We've done the home bargains. I'm going to go and see Jocelyn. And then tomorrow, I am going to pop to B&M. And we've we'll lived in three out of three so far. Very impressed with all the Easter stuff. Um, see you tomorrow at B&M. Hey, guys. I'm at B&M. I also have just noticed I've put a lot of blusher on. Standard. Would a video be a video without me noticing I've put a lot of blusher on? I have come to B&M. Three for three. Got my tote bag. Three for three. You know what I need? I need to treat myself. Um, 
yeah b and I just dropped my son off my 11 year old off at school so I thought I'd come here early so it's nice and quiet we can have a good look around if you are new here please do subscribe because I often do shop with me it's one of my favorite things to do with you lot I love going to all these kind of shops please do leave in the comments any other shops you would like me to go to I haven't been to Costco for a while um where else anywhere really Costco, Ikea, these are kind of the main ones. I like the nice bargain shops, but I'm open to any suggestions. Also, if you are new here, I am off to um, California, literally in a few days after you are watching this video. So do we want a Target video? Do we want a CVS, Walgreens, Target? I don't think we'll be near a Walmart. Let me know, that might be quite fun, mightn't it? A little shop with me there, so do let me know. So I'm gonna have a little mooch around um, B&M, pick up any last minute bits for our holiday, see um, if there's any fun Easter stuff I can show you. So let's have a look. I Bad planning, it's actually raining. It wasn't raining when I left the house, so I haven't got a coat, but it's fine. Got a brolly, so let's go. I went straight over to the scents because I needed to get some new washing bits. There's so many lovely, I'm gonna say flavors. <laughs> Fabulosa, any of you use it, let me know. What from the Fabulosa range do you love? What do you think that I need to use? I've picked up um, a pack of wipes before that smelt delicious, but yeah, would love to try this range out. Don't know where to get started, so please do let me know. I went and looked at the lovely fake plants in store. I love a fake plant. I've got a lot of real plants, but in top shelves or shady places, I often have real plants because you can't actually tell they're fake from too far away. And there's loads of lovely ones in here. So highly recommend. Also, don't be sleeping on B&M for baskets, plant baskets. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. I've got quite a few. I'm laughing because it's next to like a tin of spam. <laughs> Corn beef. <laughs> Um, but yeah, don't be sleeping. There's loads and loads of great ones in store. Some lovely summer stuff. I will say, keep your eyes peeled because sometimes in the summer you get like 25% off or it goes half price. Another lovely basket. Some lovely candles for outside. I love the bags. This blue range is absolutely stunning. Lots and lots of lovely summer wear in store at the moment. But as I said, please do keep your eyes out. Um, or open, keep your eyes out. I wouldn't really advise you do that. Keep your eyes open for if they go on offer. The Easter range wasn't that huge in B&M and it could be because maybe I missed the boat, I'm not sure. But they did have some really, really cute little paper decorations in. I'm trying to stick now more to decorations that I can use year after year. So like material bunting and investing in that. Lots of cool Squishmallow stuff in. Love this, another little cute wreath, it's so fun. I've got one like this, these are kind of come out every year. They had this little plate, this was out last year. I find it a bit strange that the bunny has just a body and not ears. Love this, this would be cute for the whole of spring, not necessarily just for Easter, really nice in the center of a table. Couldn't get these out, I couldn't get them out. I think somebody must have put them in and then put the sign up. No one's ever getting them out unless they smash them out. Here are some beautiful flake flowers that could be used in gardens, could be used down staircases, round doors, also across fireplaces maybe. They were so, so pretty and again, would last right through summer until we know the best season of mine, my fave, which is Halloween. This was really fun. Maybe you're doing a baby shower, maybe you're doing a bridal shower. I thought this would be really cute to have up and take photos. This was a beautiful range, like a tween range of candles, candle holders, little plant pots, some really, really special stuff. And then I got to this little dried flower section here where they had dried flowers in a tiny little vase. Not sure, not sure about that test tube one. My daughter loves tulips, she would love that. And I did grab myself some candles for me wax melts. Oh, I was right with it, it was nice and quiet. It was lovely. I will say, if you um, are planning on getting seasonal stuff from B&M, definitely get there sooner rather than later. Because I think when I came last time, there was more stuff. So if you're looking for summer stuff, look at the sky, how can we possibly think of that? Go now. And I tell you, those plant pads, it was hard for me to leave them. Right, I just picked up a few bits and bobs um, 
right now. We're not here for Easter, as I've mentioned a million times, so there's other things. From the last clip, we were talking about, oh, do I still do the bags for the kids? So when um, my, Ethan went to football last night with Steve and went to up to the villa, they won 4-0 up the villa, um, and I had a night with Erin organising like a Taylor Swift party for her friends, and I said, do you still want me to do plain bags? And she said, yes. She was like, well, why wouldn't you? And I was like, well, you know, you're bigger now. And she's like, no, I want, I want stuff for the play. And I was like, right, okay. Also, somebody commented um, in the last video, I'd bought her some shorts and some sliders. Doesn't she choose her own clothes? And I said to her last night, I said, look, she chooses most of her own clothes. I said, but you know, sometimes I do get you the odd thing. Do you mind? She went, why would I mind? She's like, why would I mind not having to spend my money on clothes? And I was like, okay. <laughs> So we're on the same page. And I said, if you do mind, you can say to stop. And she's like, why would I mind? So anyway, I digress. For their plane mags, I it's a long flight. It's 11 hours. Um, Ethan is fine on planes. Erin is not as fine on planes. So I've got them both a little kind of anti-stress colouring book. And I thought this would be really nice. They both really love animals, especially Ethan. He adores animals so they can colour these in. I will take some pel uh, felts we've already got from home and I've got one of these each so they can have a little colour if they get a little bit bored and it can focus. Also, it's kind of nice sometimes colouring together. So I will be sat probably in between the children so we can colour in a picture together. Nice, like adult colouring. Uh, for me, for home, as you know, I'm on my wax melt kick. I love them. I needed some tea lights, so I got some fresh linen fresh linen is the best scent in the world which is why i got a new air freshener in the scent fresh linen i just want my i just want my wash on the line guys talking of washing i think i can't remember where i saw these but i think i saw these on brogan's videos she did a huge pack with me um which is like She's, on, she's currently on a world cruise with her new husband, Benji. And I, are, I am sure I saw these. I'm sure I saw these on hers. So when we go on holiday, last year when we um, went to Disney World, we did some washing whilst we were there. In fact, I did a couple of loads. So if there is washing facilities where we're staying, I might do some washing. It's kind of just nice to just come back with clean, with clean clothes. Call me boring. You'd be right. And I'm sure she had these. So these are Magic Leaves laundry detergent sheets. So um, I could pack these with me. And of course, uh, any I don't use, I can bring back for our next trip. So I thought that would be quite good. Would it be a b and holding at me getting Stephen some Mike and Ike's? No. I am also going to get him some treats for his rucksack for the plane. Yes, so I got him the thing. Today I'm going to get him some Mike and Ike's to go in his bag and maybe I might give him these today. So I'll put one in his bag and one. I can have a little treat later. Just for a bit of fun in their bag. The kids still love Squishmallows, both of them. I said, oh, do you want to donate them? But they're still lovingly displayed. So I just got them a little kind of little blind box thing which has got stickers in and some candy. I thought that'd be quite cute for them to open on the plane. It's a cute little container. They keep these and put things in. Well, that was sweet. I've got some conditioner because I got shampoo yesterday. And also for the plane, the kit children are now obsessed with um, chewing gum. They don't swallow it, don't worry. And they also get rid of it properly. They like strawberry flavour. Blech. Blech. I only like like minty flavour, but they love strawberry flavour, so I thought I could put one of these each in the bag as well. And that is it, my friends. We have been to Poundland, Home Bargains and B&M. I've showed you all of the things. I hope you enjoyed it. As I said, stick around for more sorts of hauls. And um, next week will be a pack with me for California, and I'm going to do it. It's going to be the world's most in-depth epic pack with me i've got big grand plans of how i'm gonna do it i've been washing clothes all week 
Um, Stephen's going to iron them tomorrow so they're all nice and clean and ready from our Disney storage bags upstairs in the cloffice. So yeah, please do subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love to see you in the comments. Don't forget to go over to Instagram, follow me over there. I do Insta stories all the time and also don't forget my podcast. I've got a podcast if you love like 90s and noughties nostalgia. Please do check that out. This week I've got Claire Buckley on it who is married to James Buckley, who was in the in between us, and they've got a podcast together. So that's a super fun episode. I love you lots. See you online somewhere, and I'll see you next week packing all me, me knickknacks. Love you, bye.